Hello and welcome to another update video about silver. Well, silver is pushing higher with a bit of a surprise jump here to the upside. Um, it did break above the descending trend line as we talked about in previous videos is as soon as we break above this trend line, that should be an additional catalyst for some further upside. Um, it's also nice that we are moving higher because as you will remember, we reached my long area here and we touched my long area here. So even if you bought in this one where we actually made another lower low before, you are now nicely in profit. And even if you bought this one and didn't sell at the top, yeah, you are now in profit. And even if you bought in this sort of short area here, you are now in profit. So all of that should look good. Um, what is not so good is that this move to the upside does look like a three wave structure as indicated here in ABC. We never saw a fifth wave. I mean, you can, and I looked in the lower time frames. you can, if you have to, construct this as a five wave move to the upside. That would be the breakout pattern. I'm not convinced. I have to be very honest with you. For me, there is still significant risk to come down lower, but due to the break of the recent highs, due to uh, above the recent highs, due to the break of these highs in August, due to the strength that we currently see and the break of the descending trend line, I now have to increase probabilities for a direct breakout to the upside, which would assume that we had a completion of this larger wave two correction here after we touched my larger target area. Um, again, this should not be any problem if you bought in any of these areas. I don't know if you use them or not, you know, I can't really tell you what to do. Um, but I would have to count this as a wave one in a breakout pattern. I would have to count this as a two. And then we should now move up in three and we talk about targets now next. Again, even if, and this is still a problem uh, and a risk that we come down once more into this area, we should still reach that target area that I'm going to mention to you now. Um, so even if this is just a larger A, B, C correction and we come down once more, we should ideally reach this area anyway. So let's take a look. Now again, don't get me wrong, nothing is ever guaranteed in these markets, but it's all about likelihoods, right? Um, but yeah, we're looking at the area between, I would say the 1.618 extension and the 200% extension. So I'm looking now at the area for this wave three or wave C. Um, of $22 to $22.85. Yeah, so between the 1.618 and the 200% extension. So anybody who wants to take any partial profits there, I think this is the area where I would do it. Because you know, again, anybody who's long here or bought in any of these areas should be in profit. And in my opinion, that's what I would do, taking profit or part-time profits, partial profits maybe in this area already because we don't know if this will become a five wave move. If it is only a three wave move, we will come down and make lower lows. If it is a five wave move, then we will be able to define a wave four support that will be the next test, yeah, um, which we need to hold to push higher in wave five. So just an example, if let's say we get all the way up to 22.85, then we can define a support area for wave four, which would be between the 23.6% FIB level and the 50% FIB level. So in that scenario, we must not drop below $20.42. If we do it, this is probably not going to work out and you will completely invalidate this scenario because the way four, you know, the way four can go lower technically, it can technically go all the way uh, until it cuts into the wave one price range, which would be basically below $20. But in reality, a wave four very, very rarely drops below the 50% FIB level. So it should hold the $20.40 level. But it's a bit too early to confirm that. First of all, we need to get into this area, which I think we should be doing. Yeah, would be ideal. Um, let's see if we get there. And if we, if we don't even get there, then this is not gonna work out as a breakout anyway. So really, to get the five waves, what I need to see is to push into this area or higher, and then to hold the 50% retracement and then move higher in wave five. But getting there here into this area 
which is again between $21 and what was it? $21.95 and $22.85. This is important. This is now requirement. Yeah, so this is not looking too bad. You're yeah, looking interesting generally across the markets at the moment. And that's my current update about silver. Hopefully you liked the update. If you did, please hit the like button, leave a comment and subscribe. And if you really like the content, also check out my main channel, More Crypto Online. Thanks a lot for watching. Bye bye. Thank you.